gives me great pleasure in being here at RR Sabha today as part of the Music in Perpetuity lecture demonstration series as part of the December music season 2021. It is very heartening to be back on stage in front of a live audience and performing which we have been missing for the past more than a year, almost two years. Rasika Ranjani Sabha has always been well known for the excellent topics that are chosen for lecture demonstration series and this time it is no different. There are several Vidwans and Vidushis who have been line, lined up for this season who are going to be presenting various lectures on different composers in Carnatic music and I have been very fortunate to have been given this topic of Sri Pallavi Seshayar who was one of the greatest composers in the tradition of Carnatic music. So within the time limit that we have, uh, we will try and cover as much as possible with respect to compositions and uh, the speciality of this composer, Sri Pallavi Seshayar. Sri Pallavi Seshayar was one of the famous post-Trinity composers. That is, he was after the period of the music trinity, Sri Tyagaraja, Sri Shyama Shastri and Muthu Swami Dikshitar. He was born in the year 1842 and he lived till 1909. He belonged to Tyagaraja's Sishya Parampara. His father, Neikara Petti Subbayar, was a direct disciple of Sri Tyagaraja. Pallavi Seshayar was born in Neikara Patti, which was a village about 8 miles from Salem in Tamil Nadu. He was a Lakshana Lakshya Vidwan and a very versatile composer as we will be seeing in today's session. He was an expert in handling intricate Pallavis with perfect ease. In, in the 19th century, there were several Vidwans who were adept in handling Pallavis and Sri Seshayar was one of them. In fact, that is why he even got the prefix Pallavi to his name. He was one of the great, ex greatest experts in handling Ragam Tanam Pallavis. Several others who had the same prefix were Pallavi Gopalayar, Pallavi Dorasami Ayer and so on. So Pallavi Seshayar also belonged to that category. He was one of those very few composers who notated his own compositions. As I just mentioned that he was, uh, he was an expert in handling Pallavis, the rhythmic patterns that he used in all his compositions were very special. He was very famous for his Kalpana Jatis that was very unique at his time. In concerts, after singing Kalpana Swaras for the chosen song, he used to delight his audiences by singing Jatis extempore, which was a very rare trait. He used to sing minor ragas like Gauli Pantu for 2-3 hours at a stretch. He was a Swanama Mudrakara, that is the mudra that he used in his compositions was his own name, Sesha. So you see this name Shesha coming in all his compositions, even the Varnams and the Tilanas. He was honoured in the Mysore Samasthanam. Sri Seshayar is also said to have written manuscripts containing the Arohana and Avarohana of more than a thousand ragas with brief notes on each of these ragas also. Unfortunately, these manuscripts are not available now. So it is only from this historical evidence that we come to know of these facts. He was also a master of Konakol. So whenever audiences used to come for his concerts, his Pallavis and the Konakol were a feast for all of them. Three of his disciples were very famous. Manatatai Duraswami Ayer, Chintala Palli Venkita Rao and Nadasparam Krishna. Sri Seshayar began his career as a performer in his 16th year. 
since he belonged to the tyagaraja shishya parampara he had an extempore he has a, he had an exp- extensive repertoire of tyagaraja's compositions he was also a regular performer in the annual festivals conducted in madras by shri tiruvattur tyagayar one of his compositions in kedaram neeve na jeevamani was frequently sung by bidaram krishnappa of mysore it is also said that shri seshayar was present at the historic musical contest in madras which was held between mahavaidinatha ayer and vidwan venu in the year 1891 shri seshayar passed away in salem on the dwadashi day in january 1909 so this is the brief biography of shri seshayar that we find in several texts that are available today let us now delve into each of his the aspects of his compositions first touching upon sahitya all his compositions are full of bhava and very deeply oriented in bhakti just as is seen in swami tyagaraja's compositions since he belonged to that shishya parampara his compositions were no different around 62 compositions of shri pallavi seshayar are available to us now his ishta devata was rama he has also composed on lord ganesha saraswati lord shiva these are the only compositions that we see which are on deities other than lord rama the kriti shri gananatha in nate vaani nannu brova in suruti and the kriti in pushpalatika nee kanna dikke varu this is on lord kalahastisha so other than these there is one on nrsimha on narahari but of course that can be taken as an avatar of rama so predominantly these are the only three compositions that are seen this is only from among the compositions that are available today it is said that there are many more thousands of compositions of shri seshayar but they are still not available for us so what we have is very limited the notations and the available text that uh, we have now is only about 62 or 63 all his compositions were in telugu he has composed different forms like padavarnams which were essentially chaukavarnams krutis tillanas that is also said to be a swarajati and also javalis they are still not available to us but this is what i read somewhere there is a javali in shankaravarnam composed by shri pallavi seshayar he was the first to compose krutis in rare ragas like mallika vasanta and shuddha mallika vasanta is derived from uh, maya malava gaula and shuddha is a janya of simhendra madhyamam for some reason the name shuddha has become urmika later on but if we see in the text the original text that is available to us the printed notations it is called shuddha in that He has also handled several rare ragas like Senavati, Pushpalatika and of course Shuddha with great ease. He is even said to have sung Raga Mukhari for about two hours. And there is one composition in Mukhari of Shri Pallavi Seshayar, Kopa Mela which is a masterpiece said to be one of the longest compositions of his. When I was going through the texts, of his compositions there was something which struck me so i thought i should mention that in today's uh, lecture since he belonged to the tyagaraja shishya parampara there were many compositions in which the, the beginning was very similar to a composition in of tyagaraja swami of course the ragas are different but if we look at the the beginning the, of the pallavi urake galguna is in narayana gaula a composition of shri pallavi seshayar na paritapamo is in saurashtram of course we have the kriti paritapamo of tyagaraja swami emi anadichevo in kannada shri pate that is a composition of shri pallavi seshayar in shri ragam endu dakinavo in yadukula kambhoji 
Mohanarama. We know we have heard Mohanarama in Mohanam, Tyagaraja Swami's composition. Here he has composed the Kriti Mohanarama in the Raga Dvijavanti. So these have names which are similar to compositions composed by Sri Tyagaraja. So maybe he took inspiration in this also from him. As I mentioned before, he was an expert in Pallavi singing. In those days, it was said that the main features which are required for Pallavi singing are less of Sahitya and more of Karve. So this is what was seen in Pallavi Seshayar's Pallavi renderings. He was well known for Atita Yedup singing in Pallavis. That is which started before the Tala cycle. Atita Yedup is that. He used to devote more than two-thirds of his concert for Pallavi singing. As I said earlier, all of his concerts were a rhythmic feast for listeners. It has also been recorded there that there is one particular Pallavi in, that he used to render in Todi Ragam. Shri Krishna Ratnam Surasevya Ratnam Bhajamahe Yada Vamsha Ratnam. So this was one Pallavi that Pallavi Seshayar used to render often. So, when we compare to the structure of Pallavis in the 19th century and the present day Pallavis, there have been many changes which have come, uh, which have, as the Pallavi form has evolved. Earlier, the Pallavi, the length of the Pallavi was fairly lengthy. It was long. Complex metric structures were employed, which were of academic nature without easily recognizable recurring units. So, rhythmically, it was a little complex. The melodies tend to meander and are not easily grasped upon first hearing. So even the accompanists who were along with these Vidwans, they found they needed a little more time to be able to comprehend and decipher the Pallavis that were presented. So it was all these great factors which earned them the name Pallavi, the prefix Pallavi to their names. Such was the greatness of their singing of Pallavis. When we look at the difference between Pallavi and Kriti in the 19th century from the socio-economic context. Largely in the 19th century, all performances were of uh, the royal patronage. There were many kings who were patrons of the art form and invariably these Vidwans used to be attached to one or more of these courts. So these courts favoured complexity, competition, imagination and musical knowledge of the Vidwans. The Pallavi performers were mainly in the royal courts. Whereas when we look at the Kriti form, it was mainly inspired by the Bhakti movement. And when it came to performing Kritis, it was predominantly in temples, in weddings and in bhajans. So there were two kinds of performances that used to happen. One was in the royal courts. So there all these Pallavis were held and many competitions were held between Vidwans and people used to take great pleasure in watching these contests happening. And uh, even these have been recorded, these Pallavi contests. So in the context of the 19th century, this was the difference between Pallavi and Kriti. So this was with regard to the Sahitya or the different forms that were handled by Sri Pallavi Seshayar. Chauka Varnams. From what has been given to us, from what is available, we see that there are three Varnams of Sri Pallavi Seshayar. All of them are Chauka Varnams. Chauka Varnam means it is in the Vilamba Kalam, slow speed. This particular Varnam in Suruti is a Pada Varnam also. So Padavarnam is the, the Charanam and the Ettugadaswaras have Sahityam also. Samini Todi Deve is the Varnam, Chauka Varnam in Suruti. Chala Balachi is another Chauka Varnam in Manirangu. Sarasaku Rammanave is a Chauka Varnam in Darbar. So we will now see the Suruti Varnam today. There are a lot of special features in this Varnam. So I, I thought as I sing it, I will also explain the intricacies. This is one uh, 
luxury that we have in lecture demonstrations. In, in concerts, we just have to present the Varnam without stopping. So, whatever special features are there, it just goes unnoticed at times. But if it is a lecture, we are able to stop in between and tell what is beautiful in that particular section and then we can go on. So, probably I will explain that and then sing the line fully so that you can have the pleasure of listening to it also after that. So, this is a Padavarnam. Samini Todi Deve Sakhiyaro Vegame. So, this, this is how it goes. When we compare this with the very famous Ento Prema Suruti Varnam of Pallavi Gopalayar, Pallavi Gopalayar was slightly before Pallavi Seshayar. Even when comparing it with that, we see a lot of other special features in this. For instance, there are a few prayogas which I have not seen in other Suruti Varnams which I noticed in this. There are a lot of Swarakshara prayogas that is very beautiful here. That is one thing. And then after the Charanam in each of those Swaras, there is some speciality in each of them. So we see the mudra Sesha Shayana. Sadaramu. Sa, that's a swaraksharam. Sa mahajayana. That's again a swaraksharam. Sa daramu gano sa miki. Sa mahajayana. Nayam boga. Telipina manavi. Viraha sagaramu. Darini. Neve sarun natani sa daramuga no sa miki sa majayana nayam buga telipina manavi 
ವಿಹಸಾಗರಮು ದರಿನಿ ಗಾನ ಗನೆವೆ ಸಾರು ನಯತನಿ ಸಾಮಿ So the beginning of the charanam is again a swaraksharam. Maru ni bari korvenu maru ni bari korvenu maru ni bari korvenu maru ni sa ri ni ಅಗೇನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬರ್ಣಂ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಡೌನ್ ಟಿಲ್ ದ ಪಾ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಫೀಚರ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನ್ ಸೀನ್ ಇನ್ ಅದರ್ ಬರ್ಣಂಸ್ ಸಾಹಿ ಸಾರಿ ಮಾರಿ ಸಾರಿ ನಿ ಸಾ ಸಹರಿ ಮಾರು ಬಾರಿ ಕೋರ್ವನು ಮಾರಡಗನಿ ಸಾಡೋ ಭರಿ ಕಮ ಬಾರಿ ಕೋರ್ವನು ಪಾನಿ ಮಾ ಪರಿ ಮ ಸಾರಿ ನಿ ಸಿ ಸರಿ ನಿ ದ ಪನಿ ಸರಿ ಅಗೇನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ನಿ ಮಾ ಪರಿ ಮ ಸಾರಿ ನಿ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ರಯೋಗ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೀನ್ ಆಫನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ಸುರುಟಿ ಪಾನಿ ಮಾ ಪರಿ ಮ ಸಾರಿ ನಿ ಸಿ ಸರಿ ನಿ ದ ಪನಿ ಸರಿ ಮಾ ಸಾಹಿತ್ಯ ಫುದಸ್ ನಾ ಪೈನಿ ನೀವು ಸಾರೆ ಸಾರಿ ನಿ ಸಾಹ ಸಮೂ ಸೇಯತ ಗತನು ಮಾ ಅಗೇನ್ ಸಾಹ ಸ ಸಾರಿ ನಿ ಇಸ ಸ್ವರಾಕ್ಷರ ನಾ ಪೈನಿ ನೀವು ಸಾರೆ ಸಾರಿ ನಿ ಸಾಹ ಸಮೂ ಸೇಯ ತಗತನು ಮಾರು ನಿ ಬಾರಿ ಕೋರ್ವನು ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಸ್ವರಂ ದಿಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸ್ವರಂಸ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ the third is very beautifully woven around this the nishadam ni sarini sarini da pa mari sani sari ma pa sani ma pa ni sari ma how beautifully he goes around the knee ni sarini sarini da pa mari sani sari ma pa sani ಮಾಪನಿ ಸರಿ ಮಾರು ನೀ ಬಾರಿ ಕೋರ್ವನು ನೀ ಇವನ್ ದ ಸಾಹಿತ್ಯ ಈಚ್ ಆಫ್ ದೋಸ್ ನೀಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ನೀ ನೀ ನಿರತನ ಮುನಿ ಸರ ಸರಯ ನೀ ವಿತರಣ ಮುನಿ ಗುಣ ಮೂಲ ನೀ ನಿರತನ ಮುನಿ ಸರ ಸರಯ ನೀ ವಿತರಣ ಮುನಿ ಗುಣ ಮೂಲ ಕುಮಾರು ನೀ ಬಾರಿ ಕೋರ್ವನು ನೀ ಸರಿ ಮಾರ್ ನೀ ಸರಿ ಮಾರಿ ಸನಿ ನೀ ಸರಿ ಮಾಪ ನಿ ಸರಿ ಮಾಪ ದಪ್ಪ ಮಾರಿ ಸರಿ ಮಾಟ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಯೂಸೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ 
அப்பா நீ சரி மா அப்பா தப்பா அம்மா நீ சரி மா நீ சரி மா ரி சனி நீ சரி சனி தப்பா நீ சரி மா அப்பா தப்பா அம்மா நீ சரி மா ரோ நீ வாரிக்கோர்வனு நீ சரி தயா பத பரா கிட்டு வல்ல தனவே மா நீ சரி வரு நீ கிதி மாகனமா தயா பத பரா கிட்டு வல்ல தனவே மா ரோ நீ வாரி கோர்வனு இந்த ஃபிஃப்த் ஸ்வரா I saw a very nice uh, pattern which comes the sa pa pa sa sa pa sa pa pa sa the usage of sa pa pa sa is seen in a lot of places here sa pa ma pa ni da pa ma ga pa ma ri sa pa ma pa ni sa ri ma pa sa ni sa pa ma pa ni da pa ma ga pa ma ri sa pa ma pa ni sa ri ma pa sa ni sa ni ni da pa ma ri sa ni sa di sa ri ma pa ni sa ni sa ni ni da pa ma ri sa ni sa ri sa ri ma pa ni sa ni sa ni sa ni da ma pa sa pa ma ri ni sa ri sa ni da pa ni sa ri ma pa ni sa ri sa ni da ma pa sa pa ma ri ni sa ri sa ni da pa ni sa ri ma pa ni sa ri ma ri sa ri pa ni sa ma pa ni ri ma pa ni sa ri ni sa ba pa sa sa ni sa ri sa ri ma sadi mani sadi pani sama pani rima pani sadi ni saba pasa sani sadi sari ma roni bari korvanu i papamu madanu do sharamulana நீடு குறிய காணி புகுயி பாமோமதனுடு சரமூலனா பை நீடு குறிய காணி புகு சார சாட்சிதா லஜாலனே சாரி சாரிவேடனே சார சாட்சிதா லஜாலனே சாரி சாரிவேடனே லனே சரசம்புகனு பிக்கி கோகிடனு சுமசாயகுனி சமரம் சமரம் புகனு சரசம் புகனு பிக்கி கோகிடனு சுமசாயகுனி சமரம் புனனு கலசி மேலசி அதர மதுர மதுரச நொசகி சாமி நேனு கொம்மனவே செலி கலசி மேலசி அதர மதுர மதுரச நொசகி சாமி நேனு கொம்மனவே செலி மாரோ நீ பாரி கோர்வனு மாரோ So this was the beautiful Chauka Varnam that Shri Pallavi Seshayar has composed. So only when we go through the, the intricacies in detail, we are able to find so many such beautiful uh, treasures hidden within this particular Varnam. Varnam. 
he was one of those very uh, few post trinity composers who has composed a lot of krithis in melakartha ragas so from the list that we have of about 62 compositions of shri seshaya that i was mentioning we can see krithis which have been composed in ragas like kanakangi ratnangi manavati senavati hanumattodi dhenuka chakravaham kiravani kharahara priya gauri manohari harikambodi shankarabharanam natak priya kokila priya vakula bharanam simhendra madhyamam shubha pantwarali shanmukha priya mecha kalyani so several of these melakartha ragas have been featured in shri seshayar's composition so this is one rare uh, trait that i thought i should mention because the same composer having composed so many melakarthas is not that we see it much often so he has handled a lot of melakartha ragas since he has come down in the shishya parampara of tyagaraja swami we see a lot of similarities in the way the compositions have been structured have been uh, composed one of them is the feature of sangatis that is seen in his compositions in all his compositions even in the tillanas we see a lot of sangatis when we talk of sangatis and tyagaraja swami's compositions krithis which immediately come to our mind are probably chakkani raja or oranga chai dharani telusukonti which have so many sangatis in the pallavi itself similarly in pallavi seshayar's compositions we see many of them let us now see one example in arabi which is a very famous composition in fact when we talk of pallavi seshayar's compositions there are only probably two or three which are being sung now often in concerts we don't seem to be uh, hearing any of the others there are a lot of wonderful compositions and uh, i wish more of them start coming into the concert scenario so one of the famous compositions that has been rendered quite often is palimparava delara in arabi as we will see in this composition there are plenty of sangatis beautifully woven in the pallavi itself hmm. this is in aditalam tisra nade many of these compositions also have chitta swarams but uh, in the original notations that are available there are no chitta swarams given so it is only later on that these chitta swarams have been added to these compositions arabi is one such example palim paravadelara rama palim paravadelara pavana rama nannu palim paravadelara pavana rama ninnu nannu pa palim paravadelara pavana rama nannu 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 palim paravadelara ताल जाल मेल लोल ना पाली ताल जाल मेल लोल ना पाली दीवा 
ತಾಳ ಜಾಲ ಮೇಲ ಲೋಲ ನಾಪಾಲಿ ದೇವ 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 ಮಾತಿ ದೇವ ಮಾ ತಾಳ ಜಾಲ ಮೇಲ ಲೋಲ ನಾಪಾಲಿ ದೇವ ಮಾತಿವ ಮಾರಿ ಸರಿ ರಿ ಸಪ್ಮಗರಿ ಪ ಮದದ ಪ ಸನಿ ಧರಿ ಸರಿ ರಿ ಸಪ್ಮಗರಿ ಸನಿ ದ ಮಗರಿ ಸನಿ ಧರಿ ಸರಿ ರಿ ಸಪ್ಮಗರಿ ಪ ಮದದ ಪ ಸನಿ ಧರಿ ಸರಿ ರಿ ಸಪ್ಮಗರಿ ಸನಿ ದ ಮಗರಿ ಸನಿ ದ ಸರಿ ಮಗರಿ ಸರಿ ಮಪ ರಿ ಮಪ ಮಗರಿ ಮ ಪದ ಮ ಪದ ಪ ಮ ಪದ ಸರಿ ಮಗರಿ ಸನಿ ದ ಮಗರಿ ಸರಿ ಮಗರಿ ಸರಿ ಮಪ ರಿ ಮಪ ಮಗರಿ ಮ ಪದ ಮ ಪದ ಪ ಮ ಪದ ಸರಿ ಮಗರಿ ಸನಿ ದ ಮಗರಿ ಸರಿ ಸನಿ ದ ಪ ಮಗರಿ ಸ ಸನಿ ದ ಪ ಮಗರಿ ಸ ತ ಪ ಮಗರಿ ದ ದರಿ ರಿ ಮ ರಿ ರಿ ಮ ಮ ದ ಮ ಮ ದ ದರಿ ದ ದರಿ ರಿ ಮಗರಿ ಸ ಪ ದರಿ ಸರಿ ದ ಸ ಪ ದ ಮ ಪ ರಿ ಮ ಪ ದ ಸನಿ ದ ರಿ ರಿ ಸ ರಿ ಸನಿ ದ ಪ ದ ದ ಉಪ ತ ಪ ಮಗರಿ ಸ ಸರಿ ಸರಿ ಮ ಪ ದ ಪಾಲಿ ಉಪ ರಾವ ದೇಲ ಪದರಿ ಸರಿ ದ ಸ ಪದ ಮ ಪ ರಿ ಮ ಪದ ಸನಿ ದ ರಿ ರಿ ಸ ರಿ ಸನಿ ದ ಪದ ದ ಪ ತ ಪ ಮಗರಿ ಸ ಸರಿ ಸರಿ ಮ ಪದ ಪಾಲಿ ಉಪ ರಾವ ದೇಲ ಪ್ರೇಮ ರಂಗ ಭಕ್ತುಡನೋ ಮಾ ಮಾನಿ ತಾತ ಪ್ರೇಮ ರಂಗ ಭಕ್ತುಡನೋ ಮಾನಿ ತಾತ ಪ್ರೇಮ ರಂಗ ಭಕ್ತುಡನೋ ಮಾನಿ ತಾತ ಪರಂದಾಮನಮಿತಿ ನೈಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಹಿತ ಶೇಷನು ತ ಪರಂದಾಮನಮಿತಿ ನೈಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಹಿತ ಶೇಷನು ತ ಪರಂದಾಮ ನಮಿತಿ ನೈಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಹಿತ ಶೇಷನು ತ ಪರಂದಾಮನಮಿತಿ ನೈಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಹಿತ ಶೇಷನು ತರಿ ಸರಿ ರಿ ಸಪ್ಮಗರಿ ಪ ಮದದ ಪ ಸನಿ ಧರಿ ಸರಿ ರಿ ಸಪ್ಮಗರಿ ಸನಿ ದ ಮಗರಿ ಸನಿ ದ ಸರಿ ಮಗರಿ ಸರಿ ಮ ಪ ರಿ ಮ ಪ ಮಗರಿ ಮ ಪದ ಮ ಪದ ಪ ಮ ಪದ ಸರಿ ಮಗರಿ ಸನಿ ದ ಮಗರಿ ಸರಿ ಸನಿ ದ ಪ ಮಗರಿ ಸ ಸನಿ ದ ಪ ಮಗರಿ ಸ ದ ಪ ಮಗರಿ ದ ಧರಿ ರಿ ಮ ರಿ ರಿ ಮ ಮ ದ ಮ ಮ ದ ಧರಿ ದ ಧರಿ ರಿ ಮಗರಿ ಸ ಪ ಧರಿ ಸರಿ ದ ಸ ಪ ದ ಮ ಪ ರಿ ಮ ಪ ದ ಸನಿ ದ ರಿ ರಿ ಸ ರಿ ಸನಿ ದ ಪ ದ ದ ಪ ದ ಪ ಮಗರಿ ಸ ಸರಿ ಸರಿ ಮ ಪ ದ ಪಾಲಿ ಉಪ ರಾವ ದೇಲ ಪಾವನ ರಾಮ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ವೇರ್ ವಿ ಸಿ ಅ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಂಗತಿಸ್ ವೆದರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪಲ್